Our words are powerful. Our words are important. Our words can make you think, laugh, learn, and sometimes even cry. Our words inspire others to take action or teach someone a new concept. We live writerly lives. This means we are alert and take notice of the small moments. This allows us to capture an idea and plan out our next writing piece. So what does writing workshop look like anyway? I'm Inga and this is our story. This story takes place at Harding and Garfield Middle School each and every day. We asked some students at both middle schools to tell us their story too. We receive focused, direct instruction in the skill of writing. She actually tells us in a way that we can understand it and go back and do it. We write each day to practice and develop our writing skills over time. And it's nice too because we can really improve on our stories and we get all that writing time to improve and make it like better. So it's good for us as students. Because writing is something that you need to practice all the time in order to be good at it, which we're glad that we get to do that every day. We write for real purposes and for real audiences. We write the kinds of texts we see in the world. Basically what we're learning about in comp class is how to write a formal essay and using the right criteria of how we use our punctuation, um, figurative language, and how to make it more entertaining, interesting, and just the method of writing. They show you, you get shown an example, and then you have time to practice it. So like you'll see other examples online from it, or like there's Google Classroom, and you get examples from there, and then try to write something as like your rough draft. It's helping us stamina, just use better words, better vocabulary. Um, just getting us basically ready for the high school, and just more places to come where you're gonna have to write in your life. We choose to write about topics that are important to us. The way I choose, like, my, the topics I write about is, like, I'll, like, think of a whole bunch of different things, and then, like, I'll write them down, and then I'll, like, write about each one as much as I can, and then see which one I have more, like, to say about. And it brings out, like, our inner writing skills, and I, I like to, like, write, like, I like to go with my imagination, because I can do amazing stuff. You have a choice, like, to tell what it's about and the details, because no one else knows the details but you unless someone else was there in your story. So you can really expand on the details on that and you can choose what details you want. We cycle through the entire writing process. I think we're getting stronger because like um, in our sentences, we know what to add and not add and then like we can hook someone if, if we're making them to read more. The revision process that we have is we learn the things that we learned in the mini lesson and then they give us like a list of what we need to do. Then we read it through a program called Speak It and then we like fix the things that we heard in the Speak It. Uh, but now I use a lot of informational writing. I use figurative language, sensory details. We have opportunities to read powerful examples of other writing. This helps us grow as readers and writers. And when we write a story in the future, we can maybe try and incorporate some of the techniques that the author did in the mentor text, which is really helpful. As a writer, we use mentor text so that we can like dig deeper into the story and it helps us like get ideas of how we can make our writing stronger. Put ourselves in the writer's shoes to see Hey, did I do this? Did I do that? Like, you kind of use it as a checklist. We have clear goals and frequent feedback to improve our writing. My goal is to focus on organization and focus on the small moments. So, for organization, we're working on putting the paragraphs in the correct order and in the right places and um, indenting. My current goals for a writing workshop is to learn how to um, write my stories, not from just my point of view, try to put myself in the other person's shoes and say, hey, will they be able to understand this? So I'm not, because I'm not trying to write for I can understand because I already know what I'm trying to say. But I need to make everyone else, under, try to make everyone else understand what I'm trying to say by reading it from, trying to kind of read it from their point of view. Reading and writing are connected together. Um, and all summer and in a day, 
he was more descriptive, and that made me more descriptive. And then he, like, I have, like, a comma thing. Like, I put way too many commas. And then, like, reading more and, like, like more with everything, it, like, helps that out. So, like, I don't use as much commas, and I know like, where to place things, and adjectives. That definitely helps with my adjectives. We're learning about writing, like, how to organize, like, what's going on in the story, not just have, like, a simple, like, one line saying what's going on. We need to put more details in it, and we're, sh like, sharing how we can put more details in it by reading stories or helping us, like, having example stories to like read before we actually write our own essay. Studying like metric texts and all that is important because you're trying to like learn like different writing styles and what other people have and not just like focusing on one kind of style of writing between the like many different authors but you're like reading like those authors to like study and analyze like how they wrote the old saying goes, the pen is mightier than the sword. Well, we have Chromebooks as our swords, and that makes our words even more powerful than the pen. We debate each other to help us plan our argument writing and craft counterclaims. Our teachers conference with us to help us grow as writers with specific feedback. We are so thankful for their guidance. Writing partners help us stretch our thinking. I like to be able to learn from the students and teach some of, some of my classmates. Checklists used along the way help us meet our grade level goals. We use, check, we look, use checklists to the point where Another student can check off our list, like what we did and what we did not do, what we need to do, or we'll we'll trade our papers and so that the other student can read it and then we can read up theirs to say, oh, you forgot this, you forgot that. Anchor charts posted around the room guide us to be more independent problem solvers. We are excited about our growth as writers. I've grown as a writer this year by, I know how to use more details. I can, the Columbia writing has really helped me because I know how to use boxes and bullets. And that actually really helps me write stories because it gives me an outline and I know exactly what I write down. And as I'm writing, I just add a little bit more notes and details and that helps me. My writing is like more powerful and stuff, and like when people read it, they're like more more focused into what they think about it more. I did this year by um, having more ideas than I did in August from writing. And what I like about writing workshop is that um, you can sometimes you can choose what you want to write about, and doing that you can have fun with your writing. So overall, I'm grown as a writer in a lot of ways. Um, it helps me format my paragraphs, better for better way to format my paragraphs. Um, really helps with my grammar, like when I'm writing commas and all that. Help me um, better show my textual evidence in better ways, it really helped me with that. It was just a lot of ways. I feel that at the beginning of the year I wasn't very organized, I didn't have a very big vocabulary. And at the second half of the year, I'm using bigger words, and I'm doing better as a writer, and I'm much more organized than at the beginning. And I feel that one of my goals as a writer is I want to like write better from the start rather than just making a really dull, rough draft. I want to start off well. We celebrate our writing with authentic audiences. busy here in middle school becoming better writers. We are a generation of writers ready to take on the world with our powerful thoughts, words, and actions. Writing is tough work, but we are tougher. We stick with it, and at the end of this perseverance, we have much to celebrate. 
So please join us as we take our pride in ourselves as writers, readers, thinkers, and learners. Thank you.